right guys automatic garage back today we got another quick video on the r max here we're going to do a little bit of modifying try to save you some money and maybe not buy the expensive weller racing tip and the block off plate for that cold air injection on top of the motor so we're getting ready for a ride this weekend and i was checking the one stuff anyways and i just got to looking at that and i was like man i'd really like to go on and block that off or uh stop the hose up at least basically blocking it off and uh I'm going to come up with something to put in that hose that fits nice and tight to block that off, which is going to be the exact same thing as doing the block off plate. And then basically make my own Weller racing tip kind of. i um, going to take this off. I've already had this soaking and knocker loose, so the bolts will come loose, hopefully. And uh, we'll open this hole up and we'll have a two and a half inch 45 going from this little, I think this is a little smaller than an inch, actually, if you measure the diameter there. But a buddy of mine has the weller, and he said that's what size it is. So we're going to make our own tip. So I'm going to do a quick before and after uh, of the exhaust here. Or I'm going to make a before right now. And then we'll do the before and after the end, let y'all see what it sounds like. And then we'll show if the bolts come out easy and what all I'm going to do to modify it. And I'm hopefully going to try to keep a spark arrestor and uh, just have basically a flat screen as a spark arrestor still, it's gonna be the idea or come up with something like that so that I will still have some form of a spark arrestor. So I went on and cranked it up after letting the uh, knocker loose sit on here. And they are all just backing out nice and easy. I'm just gonna keep going easy a little bit at a time on each one of them. Cause I really don't wanna have one of these get stuck. That one's a little stiff. So put some penetrant on it let them sit and then back them out nice and easy so you don't have to deal with some bolts breaking. So now you can see why it is restrictive because the pipe runs about a half inch from this cap on the end. So the exhaust has to flow over that cap and then come out. So I think my idea is gonna be leave this spark arrestor as it is. Get this pipe out, open the hole up so that the exhaust still flows through this spark arrestor but will flow just directly through it and out through the bigger pipe. That's my idea. I'm gonna see what I can come up with for cutting this neatly, because it's not welded on the inside. It's only welded on the outside here. All right, so I cut the tip off flush so that I have more room to work around here. Um, so now I'm gonna take my side cutter I'm gonna try to work on this weld right here so we can get this pipe freed out and then I'm gonna open this up enough to fit our two and a half on here. So let me get that done and we'll catch back up. So here's where we were at so far. I had to adapt down to the two and a half inch. You can see I kind of made some collars there. It'll all be cleaned up once it's welded. We got our spark arrestor canister cut off. I'm gonna clean that up and then I will weld that, tack it back on on the inside. When we're done with this, but I think I'm pretty happy with how that's pointed right now. It's far enough away from the plastic, so it's tacked on, so I'm gonna unbolt it and uh, get it over here and get ready to just do a weld all the way around it nice and pretty. And there's our finished product. It's not pretty tax. Well, I say tax, I ended up tacking all the way around the, the uh, spark arrestor, but turned out pretty good here. Heat paint's still drying a little bit. We cleaned our bolts up on the wire brush. Got a dab of anti-seize on every single one of them because we got lucky they came out to begin with. So let that dry a little bit more and then we'll throw those in. We'll see what it looks like and see what it sounds like.
I don't really know if it's any louder than it was. I went back and watched both on camera back to back. To me, the tone just sounds different. I sat in the cab. I can't really tell much different. I think it's just like my buddies that I've noticed that has the Weller racing tip on it. It's not really any louder. It just has a different tone to it. Uh, it's almost a deeper tone. Um, I don't think it actually talks quite as much when you let off the gas as it did with the factory one. I don't know if it's just because better flow or what. So still has a spark arrestor, still fine to go ride anywhere you want. And, uh, but I can guarantee you the flow is better. When you look at the size of the two pipes side by side, I guarantee you that is flowing a whole lot more. And the idea that it's not going way up in the spark arrestor in there, uh, it's got to make the exhaust temps cooler, which like, my whole idea with doing all this was not really going after a sound or even performance. It's trying to keep this thing running as cool as I can, which in turn raise, uh, lowers the, the heat, uh, radiation of the heat in the cab of this thing, um, which this is not bad. It's not nothing compared to the Rhino we had before, but the idea is try to bring the temps down as much as I could. So I forgot to show y'all this. For the video, we actually just got back from riding, but I'm gonna take this back off and show you what I did for the air injection here. So I just slid the clamp off. I left everything in place. And I had it, that plug in my drawer of plugs. It was just right to thread in there, it had an O-ring on it already. So I just threaded it in there nice and easy and then put the hose right back on there and that blocked off the, the air injection that uh, so many complain about. I haven't had trouble with it, but I thought I would try it and experiment with it. And I think you get a little bit less talking back out of the exhaust when you let off also. So we did that at the same time while we were modifying the exhaust. And that's the easiest, cheapest, in my case, free way to do the that. cheapest I've seen any of those aftermarket tips, Weller Racing, Hunter Works, any of those is like a hundred bucks. They're probably a hundred to hundred and twenty dollars. I spent an hour on it here making my own. I enjoy doing this myself. Uh, so anyways, I can say I did it and save a little bit of money doing it. Plus I wanted to have it done for riding this weekend. So uh, you can try tackling this yourself. Uh, even if you didn't want to change the exhaust size, you could take that spark arrestor off and you could cut your factory exhaust on the inside edge that would increase the flow alone, I would think. Uh, not even making the pipe any bigger, but fixing it where the exhaust can exit this muffler back here that much easier. So it's Automatic Garage sign. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Just showing you all a little quick how-to on how you can do your own exhaust on here. Got other videos on the R-Max, a whole lot of power stroke Cummins forward content on the channel here. Go check us out at automaticgarage.com. You follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Appreciate y'all watching, and we'll holler at you later.